I just finished uploading my video on the RTX 3070 and how well it can run Elden Ring and now it's time for the GTX 950. As I said before, Elden Ring is one of the most anticipated games of 2022. In fact, it might be the most anticipated game of 2022. So far, my only real complaint is that the game is locked at 60 frames per second. And honestly, that's more than playable. I was a console gamer for many, many years and I was used to playing at 30 FPS. So 60 is definitely more than playable. I'm just saying on PC with higher end hardware, it, it would be nice to see it go a little bit higher. I I'm sure there's gonna be a mod of some kind that unlocks the frame rate so you know we just got to wait for that but that's not what we're here for what we're here for is to take the GTX 950 and benchmark it against Elden Ring after all the minimum specifications for Elden Ring is a 1060 that's crazy so considering how a 950 is coming in below that I'm very curious to see how well it's gonna perform. Can we run it on 1080p and get 60 frames per second? Probably not, but if we do, it might be on low settings. Let's find out. If you like this type of content, let me know because I do not usually make this type of content. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think. Smack the like button and get subscribed if you're new here. Without any further ado and no more self promo, let's check out the 950 on Elden Ring. All right, it's uh, it's been a couple of hours and it's, taken a lot of effort but i finally got the gtx 950 up and running and so initially i tried to move the 950 into my main pc where i could attempt to benchmark it with the same hardware like my amd ryzen 5800x but unfortunately the card was struggling so hard to run elden ring so i had to move the 950 back into the original pc where it has completely different hardware and now i'm capturing the gameplay from that pc through my capture card. But with all of that being said, the main thing to pay attention to here is, does the GTX 950 run Elden Ring? Is it capable? It's gonna be kind of impressive if the 950 can run it at all. And as you can see, we're out here in the wilderness and we're getting anywhere between 27 FPS and 43 FPS. And honestly, that's not really a great gameplay experience, but I think it's about the best we're gonna be able to get. And so if you look at the quality stats that we have right now, we are actually running this at 720p on high settings. Now, what we could do is we could drop it down to medium and bump this up to 1080p and see if that helps clear up the image at all. Okay, so now we're back in the game at 1080p, but this time it's on medium settings. And honestly, I'm already gonna say that 720p high settings is way better. So first and foremost, I think on 720p, the lowest FPS counter I saw was 27 frames per second. But frame rate aside, you can just look at the texture quality and see that overall the quality is just, the quality is just terrible. It's way worse on medium than it was on high. Yeah, we get a little bit of a bump in resolution, but the texture quality is so low that the resolution increase doesn't really help us here. So my recommendation would be if you're trying to play on older hardware like the 950, I would drop down to 720p and try to play on high settings. We can actually try one more thing and we can try 900p and I'm going to switch the resolution over to 900p. I'm going to leave it on medium for a second and see how it runs and the frame rate does seem to be a little bit better. I mean, we're actually peaking closer to 40, 41 FPS, which is definitely higher than what we were seeing before. But again, we're still on medium settings and overall this looks absolutely terrible. We're going to leave it on 900p and I'm going to try to bump it up to high for the quality settings. Okay, so we're back and we're using 900p for our resolution. And for our quality preset, we're using high. And overall, you can tell that the image is a little bit cleaner because we have those higher textures. And at 900p, it's definitely passable. It's not amazing by any means at all but it is passable. And you have to keep in mind, this card is below the minimum specifications recommended for this game. So we're outside, which is gonna be way more demanding than anywhere inside. This is doing okay overall. I mean, it's again, it's not perfect. It's definitely far less than ideal. We would love to see a 60 FPS minimum, but considering how the 950 came out in 2015, I would say we're doing pretty good. Okay, so look, overall, if you really stop and think about it, the GTX 950 came out in 2015. So the card is coming up on seven years old at this point. It's a very old card. And in technology years, you might as well be counting dog years. I would say we're doing pretty good. You can play the game at 900p 
and use the high quality preset and have a playable frame rate. It's not the best frame rate on the planet, especially for a PC. I mean, if you really stop and think about it, a lot of consoles for so many years were only running at 30 frames per second. So this is actually really good considering how demanding the game is. It's brand new. We're inside right now. We're approaching 40 frames per second. We're in combat. We're holding strong. Overall, the card is performing quite well. But now let me try one more thing. So we know that 900p on the high quality preset is a playable frame rate around 30, 35 frames, right? So what happens if we bump it up to maximum? Okay, so we're now at 900p on the maximum quality preset and Okay, this is definitely a way worse experience. We're down to 22 FPS. I'm betting once we get in combat, it's gonna be worse. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Our enemy is actually disappearing. You can still see the torch. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Maybe these guys can go invisible and I'm just not aware of it. But we have one test left to do. So obviously 900p on the maximum quality preset, not that great. We're, we're in the low 20s here, we're struggling. So we're gonna lower it one more time. We're gonna go over to 720p on the maximum quality preset and we're, we're gonna see how it does. All right, here we go, 720p maximum quality. And yeah, there we go. We're getting a little bit of a bump in frame rate. As you can see, we're back up closer to the 30 FPS marker, which is definitely the bare minimum frame rate you can have for a playable experience. Okay, so if you have a GTX 950, you have a couple of options. You can play at 720p and max out the quality preset if you want, or you can do 900p and run the quality preset on high or you can do 1080p and run the quality preset on medium. Personally, I think the 900p option is, is probably my favorite because you're kind of getting the best of both worlds there. You're a little bit better than 720p, you're a little bit worse than 1080p, but you have better texture quality than you would at 1080p. And for me personally, I think that's gonna be the best playable experience, but you are going to have those occasional dips down below 30 FPS, but of course you're going to have the rises above 30 FPS as well. But overall, you're going to be around 30 frames per second if you're using a GTX 950. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. It also lets me know that you like this type of content. I'm not used to doing content like this at all. I'm trying to get content out faster. So I really need your feedback in the comments below. And by the way, while you're down there, are you playing Elden Ring? If so, are you on PC? Are you on console? And if you are on PC, what GPU do you have? Because you're obviously looking at a video for a 950. So I take it you're probably rocking some older hardware. I'm very curious. But okay, that's it. And until next time, E-Rock out.